Welcome to the Basic Cable Channel, where I like to keep it basic and simple. And today we're going to cover cleaning and scoping fiber connections. Yeah, these guys. So today we're going to make sure that the fiber connection is clean and free of dirt and oils. Because if it's dirty and you got to plug this into your meter, you're going to transfer that dirt and oils onto your meter or the cross connect or the customer's modem. And you're going to leave a bad experience for that customer. We want to make sure everything's clean. And a problem is if it's dirty, there's only 2.2 pounds of pressure that it takes to click these together or to click this into any connection. But because the end of this fiber is so tiny, it equates to 45,000 PSI. So if there's some dirt in there, it's going to crush that dirt into those two connections and create craters and pits that are going to be completely permanent. You will permanently damage your meter. You'll have to send it off to get it repaired. Um, if you do that with a customer's cross connect or their ONT, you're going to have permanent damage and you're going to have service problems. So you want to make sure these connections are clean. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with fiber scope. If you notice the end of this is actually tilted up a little bit, it's angled because this is a green connector. It is APC, which is angled cut. So we're going to be careful to interface this end, not to scrape the end of that fiber, because if you do, you will create a permanent scratch. So we're going to plug that in. This is a brand new connector. And if you see here, we have some specks of dirt on it. There's a little camera button on here. We're going to push that and test it. It did fail. So we're going to clean this. What we're going to clean that with today is a click style fiber connector. If you see the name of the connector here, SC, a lot of people like to refer to that as a square connector or standard connector. So we're going to be careful not, not to scrape the end of that when we put that in. And we're going to push and click. And then we're going to turn, push and click. And what I don't want you to do is compress this and then twist it, because if you did that, you may actually swirl some dirt around in a swirl pattern on the end of that fiber. You don't want to do that. So you can push and click it, but do not spin it while it's compressed. So now that we've cleaned that, we're going to recheck it and we're going to be careful not to scrape the end of that glass and we're going to put it in and there's still a speck of something on there. So we're going to clean it again. So one click it, click it and scope it. We're going to test it, see what we got. And it passes. It's looking pretty clean there. And so before we plug this into our connection point here, we're going to take this off. And once that's off, you can clean connection points uh, such as cross connects um, or your connections on your meter. And we'll make sure that's clean. So we're going to plug that in there, click it, click it, sure it's good. We're going to check this fiber connection one more time before we plug it in because we were kind of moving around with it. Don't want to get any dirt on it. And it still passes. So we're going to plug that in. And we're going to be very careful not to rub that against anything because we don't want to get that dirty or scratch it. And we're going to plug that in. And there you have a solid connection. And knowing that everything's clean, you're not going to damage your test equipment, the cross connection, or the customer's equipment. And we're going to have a good customer experience. So thanks for watching. Have a good day.